Good morning, Exit 83. Today I come to you in my yard work clothes. I'm gonna be cutting the grass and, and trimming the bushes and things. And by the way, this is an OG Exit 83 shirt. This is the first one we ever printed uh, in 2004. So uh, now it's a, it's a wonderful yard work shirt. But anyway, in John chapter 15, Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Any branch in me that does not bear fruit he cuts off, and any branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so it can become more fruitful. And this process of pruning, uh, just it, it isn't pleasant and it doesn't feel good, and yet there is always benefit to it. Every time I trim back the rose bushes, they produce more roses and healthier roses. And I was thinking about that during this time where we, we may be getting anxious as to what's gonna happen and how long are we gonna be in the house and how long before we can hang out with our friends and things like that. And I've been thinking and I wanna encourage you, what kind of pruning process could this be spiritually? What kind of pruning process could this be to draw us closer to God, to give us the opportunity to pursue Him and the call that He has for our lives? And so I want to set my mind on that and rather than using terms like I'm stuck in the house or I don't get to go anywhere, I want to be in a place in my heart where I go, God, your will be done and don't let any of this time be wasted. I wanna follow you, I wanna know you and I want you to break through. I want you to prune back any part of my life, any part of my heart that is not living for you, that is not bearing fruit for you. So as you go through today, Let's look for ways and opportunities that we can allow God to prune us today, tomorrow, in two weeks, in six weeks, for the rest of our lives. Let's look at how God wants to prune us to draw him closer to himself. Love you guys.